Morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here. Michelle is here on her favorite day of the week, <laughs> which is Sunday, right? And it's December the 1st, 2024. I mean, I like Sundays because you can, you know, because of the energy of our thoughts and the energy that we are uh, putting out into the into the uh, environment, the atmosphere, it can be certain times can be felt on the end. You know, if we had the right kind of equipment and tools, we can pick up the the uh, the uh, fineness of energy. And I told you, energy goes across different. There's different versions, different um, ranges of energy. It's not just the atom, by the way. Um, but there's a lot of fine fineness in energy that's uh, that that you know pulsates through the through the universe, through our environment, through the universe, and through our thoughts. There is that 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 level of energy that pulsates through our thoughts and it can and it can and it, and it affects our environment if it, it affects each other so it's going to be so important that we get in touch with what it means on, on about the energy and especially the energy of our thoughts because that is what sets the tone so to speak literally figuratively and metaphorically so i hope everybody's doing fantastic magnificently and marvelous i am I slept. I, I rest very well last night. That was a good rest. I, um, whew, I can, you know, I, it was, it was just a good rest. And I can always tell when I'm resting well, because dreams were like popping, popping, popping. I was having all these dreams popping in my head and I couldn't keep up with them. I used to, I used to keep up with my dreams, but I don't. I just kind of leave that kind of stuff alone and let it kind of work its way through my consciousness, through my subconsciousness, through my memories, and let it kind of cultivate what I need to deal with in reality. Okay, regardless of what anyone says to you, we are living in a reality. We're not living in a matrix. Okay, we're not living in a sim you know, a simulation. We're living in an actual genuine bona fide reality. And a lot of us need to bring our heads out of the clouds, especially the intellectual talking heads, and and grab, bring yourself down back to earth, <laughs> literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. So, um, so I got up this morning as I usually do, and and um, in most of my videos, there's I don't have them in a certain order, except if they're in an order, then I would say it. But I kind of get up every morning honestly and just just kind of random you know like just pick up random topics that i that that come to me and then i start talking about it so that's why i say you can listen to my videos in any order you choose you don't have to you know just look at the titles if it if it resonates with you listen if it doesn't move on to the billions upon billions upon billions of content out there you will resonate with what you resonate with and i'm keep telling you i'm sorry about the glasses on and off on and i'm trying not to blind you with the all the light but oh well but i told you because you can't fool your consciousness it doesn't matter what you um say or do per se because it's going to be based on your life experiences number one and uh so I was just listening to someone and this person is, is, is speaking with so much truth about this, that, you know, we are being blocked literally figuratively and metaphorically by the so-called intellectual talking heads, you know, the ones that have all of these degrees and doctorates and because they, they believe the intellectual talking heads, they believe that it's about their intellect and they do not realize it's about their psyche, their consciousness, their subconscious, okay? And being, you know, and, 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 and in most cases, I said that, if you are fed garbage, you're going to do what? You're going to disseminate garbage. So I'm not saying that a lot of the um, 
the, a lot of the education that a lot of these so-called intellectual talking heads have received is is um, necessarily negative per se or whatever. But what happened some sometime between the 1800s and now, they lost their abilities to think properly. These so-called intellectuals, you know, you know, the so-called scientists from the, you know, the 1800s until now, something happened around Einstein's um, era as well. No one recognized that Einstein, yes, he, 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 he um, spoke, he, I mean, he was, a, he was, a, he was, um, um, Gosh, how can, you know, how can I describe him? I don't want to say that he is uh, any better than anyone else, but he has some some important information. How about that? He attempted to um, um, relay uh, some important information, and he did during the 1800s, right? And he died in 1955. So yes, he he was um, he was possibly. Um, the top of the scientists out there, the influ influential t scientists. But there may have been others that were ignored, is the point I'm making. And he was allowed to be propelled on a, a, you know, put on a pedestal above everybody else instead of being in alignment with others, other minds just like him. Because you need, you can't be just the one person with the so-called elite mind. You have to work in Units, you have to be in a harmony with others who understand your language, so to speak, so that you can, you know, self-create, self-correct each other, discuss your theories and opinions, and bring more knowledge out of it. So what Einstein did, he is, he, 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 he you know, he put forth a certain formula, E equals MC squared, you know, and instead of allowing it to evolve a bit further, you know, from, you know, become a little bit more concrete, it, it became dormant and it expired. It went, in other words, it, 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 it went nowhere. It was, you know, it was, it was something that was said and people got all, you know, these intellectuals who thought they understood that, which they don't, it's obvious. It expired. It had no more revel. You know, it, it didn't. It was irrelevant because it it wasn't taken from from the inception of it. It just kind of stayed there, you know, like in shallow. You know, just just there. Same thing with Hawkins. Same thing with him. Same thing with Hawkins. It's, you know, we we turned them into celebrities. That's what we did. We, t we um, turned them into c celebrities and didn't allow them to, Stephen Hawkins, we didn't allow them to go or we didn't give them the room per se to, to, to make it more concrete and more, um, instead of, you know, and what, because what they, what was attempting in my opinion was to separate us from these so-called genius intellectual minds. It was a, it was a, a, an attempt again to separate instead of bringing people together that knew more than Hawkins, knew more than Einstein and so that they can work collectively together. But anyway, that's done. So what I was happy about when what this, you know, young woman was saying is true. You know, if you make a mistake, if you're stuttering, because I stutter, I told you I have a speech impediment, I can stutter sometimes, they consider that that you're stupid, that you're dumb. And I, I've, I experienced that. You know, hey, it comes, it comes with the territory. And that's what I say when you evolve your consciousness, you'll be able to, t it'll be, it'll like bounce off of you. You know all these kind of labeling that people are, are putting out about you, like um, you know, and I and I was picking up some of the some of the labeling, like um, uh, what's that neurodivergent? Uh, let me pull that up, make sure I'm saying that right. Saying that people are yeah, 
neural divergent, which who the, who in the hell knows what that means? Um, certain words like autistic, you know, that, that unfortunately, let me make sure I, sometimes I misspell that autism. Let's see if I'm spelling it right. You know, a lot of people are throwing autism around like that's a badge of honor instead of realizing it's just a part of certain realities of certain people. I mean, in other words, people see it as uh, almost uh, joyful to go around and say, I'm, you know, say you're autistic, but you treat those that are actually experiencing it harshly. But yet for some, for some people, they want to wear it as, you know, they want to put it on like it's a, you know, like it's, it's, it's a badge of honor for them. But then when they realize people that are suffering from it, how, you know, the, the complexities of it all and the difficulties of it all, then, you know, so everybody wants to be all of this stuff, you know, as a, as something to put on like a sweater. And then at some point, whenever it's not fashionable anymore, they take it off and then they call themselves something else. That's what happened with the, um, with this non-binary uh, concepts. You know, we just, uh, we're just picking up stuff without necessarily understanding the consequences of it all. And, you know, I appreciate people attempting to understand who they are, what they are, and why they are. But it has to, you know, you have to, some of these things have to be done privately and so that's why that's why I say it's so important to regain your sanity okay regain your sacredness regain your privacy okay regain safe space to discuss things I said this a while ago there you I I was against discussing these kind of things in an open platform such as social media that's looking for a reason to to generate income and exploit people okay be cruel you know because that's that's that is what's that's what's fashionable now to be cruel to be hateful to be and, and the main thing is jealousy and envy and then competition unlike anything we've ever seen ever in our lives okay those type of all this labeling that and it's celebrities are doing it, you know, because celebrities are what we see celebrities as gods. OK, let's just admit it. OK, and so whatever comes out of their mouth. OK, that's the gospel, quote unquote, literally, figuratively and metaphorically. And that's not true at all. A lot of these celebrities are wounded. OK, they're they're wounded and they need to heal. OK, they need help. Heal. They need help to heal. They don't need to be healing. They need help to heal. And that way they'll see how ridiculous sometimes they are. And how they, like I saw, I read something somewhere where this, so somebody so-called, I don't know if it's true or not, that they were, so now all of a sudden they, they decided to be, they, they were born a biological man. They just decided, okay, they want to be transgender. Okay. And then all of a sudden now they want to be uh consider a biological man again you see what i mean you see how how we are how we are gambling with our existence and why some of you are going to go extinct so i get up with random thoughts and i just talk about things that are randomly that come to me and i know that my random thoughts theories and opinions i just let it i just let it flow you know I let it flow. So it will resonate how it's supposed to resonate. And that's with all of us, okay? When you evolve your consciousness and you place trust in yourself, okay? You place trust in yourself. You'll be walking the talking, okay? And you'll be modeling properly. And everything is about life experiences. It's not about these intellectual talking heads who are now... Known, I mean, they were they were elitists, but now they're known as intellectual talking heads. Okay, remember what elitists were. 
You'll be surprised what who the intellectual talking heads are. You'll be surprised. Or well, maybe not. Not some of us are not. You know how how a certain group has now you know morphed themselves into what they believe is perfection, that they're perfection, you know, and they're so cruel, you know, like I said, you know, going around calling people near virgins, you know, you know, and making fun of people. That's what they're doing. They're not saying it to, uh, to as, as part of being compassionate and understanding is, is a, uh, a form of being cruel to people being, you know, making fun of people. You know, because, you know, and, and if you say whom or who, if you don't use that in a, you know, come on, you know, the, these grammar police out there as well, going around correcting people and, and not allowing people to make mistakes and figure things out on their own. Okay. So again, I, I slept well last night, but rested well, you know, I, you know, you have to constantly, uh, tr you know, um, train yourself, you know, to be speaking properly. Yes, that's important. It, you, you do have to train yourself to be more communicative, to communicate properly. And, um, and so with my videos, my videos are not for the intellectual talking heads per se. Okay. A lot of people say, well, nobody knows what you're talking about. Yes, some some do. Yes, no more than you. Some people understand what you're talking about and some people don't. What does that mean? It doesn't mean a goddamn thing. Okay, it means, okay, it doesn't fit me. There's billions of other things I could be doing, you know, like cleaning my house, washing my dishes, okay, instead of worrying about what people are saying or doing that doesn't, you do not approve of on the social media platform. I mean, there's a lot of things I don't approve of, but what am I going to do? I get on here to to disseminate what I can, the best way I can. And I know I'm speaking to my young people because they reach out to me. So I'm good. I feel good about what I'm doing. I'm not out here to harm people and embarrass people. I've made, some, I've made a lot of mistakes, though. However, coming back onto this platform of social media back in 2022, I didn't understand the dangers I was... I was entering, you know, the lion den I got into. And so I help, hope to help people understand that as well. You know, there's there's some things you need to, you know, be, you know, it's like walking into a lion's den. You just have to be cautious. And I told you, control your narrative. Whatever is known about you comes from you. Sometimes if you are a high profile type person, it's hard to get away from the criticism that other people have about you, thinking they know you. And that's that just comes with the territory as well. That's why you have to build yourself up. You, know, you don't have to, you know, I just do that because you know, it feels good sometimes. You don't have to build yourself up to, I mean, you have to build yourself up to let that stuff fall off of you and not let it deter you. You know, you still got, you know, you still got work to do. You still got things to do. So, again, I feel, I feel, I feel great about what I'm doing. I feel great about my progress so far. I know that it's, uh, you know, the hills and mountains uh, between us, you know, is always something to get over, you know, as, 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 as that uh, song, that, that beautiful song out there and, you know, that was uh, put out in the, in the environment, the universe, you know. There's always something blocking you in your way, you know, from discovering who you are. And that's done intentionally. That's why we have the criminal energy out there. The criminal energy is to, is to keep you, you know, instead of, uh, you know, keep you stagnated, of course, keep you obedient, of course, keep you controlled, you know, keep you so that you don't know what's going on behind the curtains. Okay. And I want to send out love to people that are attempting to understand as well. What the hell is going on? Be kind and gentle with yourselves because some of you may think that there's something wrong with you. 
when in actuality, there's, a, there's everything right about you. I mean, some of you are magnificent. Some of you are fabulous. Okay. And I've had the, 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 uh, the honor of meeting some of you and, it, you know, it, and, you know, so, 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 so taper some of this, this uh, criticism of yourself down. Just kind of bring it down a little bit. <sighs> Breathe. Okay, you're going to realize, some of you are going to realize that you had it all along, but you had jealousy and envy. Okay, jealousy and envy will, you'll be surprised the power of jealousy and envy. It's, it's an extreme case of criminal energy, actually. Jealousy and envy. Now, a lot of people don't may not may not say, well, you know, jealousy and envy can have just as much devastation and destruction as a nuclear bomb, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. Okay, so understand that some of you are fabulous, and some of you I've told you you're fabulous, and a lot of people kind of shy away from hearing that because you know they probably heard that all their lives. Like I heard one. Um, one uh, high-profile person says, you know, that everybody kept saying how pretty she is, pretty. She's just pretty, pretty, pretty. And she wanted to be more than that, and she is more than that. Okay, now I'm glad she's discovering that. But the thing about these discoveries and, and the endeavors that you're going through as you're evolving your consciousness, keep that silent. Keep it silent. Keep it private. How, until you know you're healed. Okay, when you know you're healed, okay, then you can speak on some of your life experiences without being re, you know, being re, um, to re-enter into that spin, that insanity of spinning. Okay, we say this all the time, uh, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. We, how many times we've said that, that, that kind of, <laughs> like, duh. We say so many beautiful things, but you can tell who's walking the talk. I mean, um, at some point, uh, hopefully, certain people are going to realize how deceptive and manipulative they were and how they use their, their, their criminal energy to, to get what they want, you know. And I told you about the women and their criminal energy, you know, how they know how to move those hips. They know how to bat those eyes. They know how to, you know, they know how to, they know what they're doing. You know, they're, they're so, uh, I just did that just to be, just because my lips are extremely dry. So I'm going to have to stop in a moment. But they know how to move those hips. I think they're more dangerous. So these, um, these, these, uh, you know, these biological women, you know, operating and functioning in that criminal energy. They know what they're doing. It's my point. So at some point they're gonna they're gonna have to resolve that, you know, because that that'll bring balance as well back in, into the universe. As well as the men. The men are are uh more so at a destruction level. Meaning they are degenerating so deep that at some point um, their lineage or, you know, they may, something about them may have to be suspended. And I'll explain that later, what that means. You know, the, you know their, their, um, their existence, well, let's put it this way. A lot of people are going to be rolling themselves back to the med medieval times. That's what we're being taught. They're going to roll themselves back into the medieval times, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically and so whatever whatever that that was and i think that was around no oh, i think it was a you know around i don't know let me see when that was and so in other words they're gonna be that that's that's their existence it's always battle 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 us against them them against us it's gonna be you know the medieval times it's it's been commercialized unfortunately so a lot of people may not even know what it means then I know they're not teaching it in schools. That's why you have to do, you know, where the dark ages, you know, they're going to re-enter the dark ages. And um, again, what does that mean? You know what I mean? What does it mean? And so you have a lot of people may possibly talking about it like the, what they say, no, I don't know, the, you know, the, you know, like I said, the, the 
Rome wasn't built in a day, but Rome can be collapsed in a few days. You know, it was during the time of the fall of Rome, I guess, Middle Ages. A lot of us are going back to that. And, um, you know, we're, like I said, it's just battle, 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 us against them, da 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 indoctrination, war, 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 you know? Um, just going, you know, extreme, being extremism to a point of, you know, there were great personalities that came forth during those times because they were attempting to help. Prophets, messengers are human beings that we call gods and we call them Allah. In order for human beings to, to be helped, they need to be helped by other human beings. And so these prophets came forth, messengers came forth to help humanity. But instead of being allowed to do that, a lot of them, you know, were taken out or there were attempts to take them out and be, you know, and, and allow certain things to, 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 to take over. So that's all I'm going to say this morning on my, my lovely day of uh, Sunday. You know, I mean, I enjoy all the days, but, you know, Sunday, you know, like I said, the energy of Sunday is something because a lot of people are, uh, you know, settling down, you know, they're, they're not, you know, the energy level is kind of, they're not peaking their, their energy, so to speak. And, you know, make it causing a surge. All you gotta do is think about electricity. Okay. There are certain parts of electricity that they have, that has a surge. Okay. That's the same thing about our thoughts, but on a different form or different, you know, and there's different times where our our thoughts are surging, extremely, you know, going out of control. And that has a lot to do with because of our population. We have too many people on the planet. Hello. Too much, too many people, too many toys, too many equipments, too much materialism. And we're not allowing enough room for stuff to, to penetrate properly. You know, the energy to flow properly, the energy is blocked and blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to start right now. Well, chances are you know me. You know me. I'll be back. I'm not going anywhere. So peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. At the end of the day, it's about what? Universal love. So share it.